Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to install and use the connector software. The first thing we need to do is download the application from designconnected.com. Click the product link, then click the get connector button. A new tab is going to open. Before we can download the application, we need to create an account. Click on the login button on the left panel and input your credentials. If you already have an account, if not, then press the sign up button. After logging in, click the download for Windows button. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the free version. If you want me to create a tutorial for the server version, let me know in the comment section below. Run the installer, click next. We need to agree to the terms and conditions. So click the agree button, then click the install button. There are no additional settings for this application. Connector includes seats main sections menus, folders and productivity, assets, details, preview, and PBR meter. It is possible to resize these panels by placing the cursor between them. We can see the icon changing to a double arrow. We can also turn the panels on or off from the window menu. For the preview panel, it is possible to select between vertical or horizontal previews the folders and productivity panels are where we add and organize our asset. To add a new folder, we can press the plus button or we can drag and drop it from the Windows Explorer. It is possible to add almost any type of file. If we press the settings menu, we can view and select the file types we want to manage with connector. Right clicking the folder is going to show additional options. For example, we can change the color of the folder for better organization, remove a folder from connector, or open the folder in Windows Explorer. We need to be careful with the rename, cut, copy, and create folders, as these options affect the source folder. And if the folder includes any subfolders, we can enable the show files in subfolders option. After selecting a folder, we can see a thumbnail of all the files in the asset panel. In the top section of this panel, we can find different filters. We can turn off a specific asset like 3D models by pressing the icon, or a specific file format by pressing the little arrow on the corner of the icon. In this case, it only shows the option available in that folder. For example, we can show only EXRs or HDRIs. We can also filter by tax, description, or missing asset. If we know the name of the asset we're looking, we can use the search bots to filter by name. We can also organize the assets by name, date, file size, or folder by pressing this icon. After we select any of the assets, we can see a preview on the preview panel. In this section, we can switch between asset preview or in the case of an HDRI, an interactive preview. If we select multiple assets, we can see the previews in the multi-selection preview section. We can find additional information in the detail panel. For example, the image dimensions, size, open the file in Explorer, or add a description to the selected asset. If we right-click any of the assets, we can find additional settings. For images, a really handy option is the tile image. If we select this option, we can see the tiling of that image. We can add custom previews, open the files in the default application on a different application by selecting open with or even zip the asset. As well as with the folders, we need to be careful with the cut, copy, delete, and rename options as these affect the file you have in the folder. With right click, it is also possible to start the asset or add description. We can also do this with multiple assets selected. We can hide assets by pressing the eye icon. If you want to see the hidden assets, you can do it by pressing the gear icon and selecting show hidden assets. If we right click on any of the assets or multiple assets and select the tag icon, we can search and add new tags. For example, we can create a new tag for this asset. We can see 
that a new tag icon is added to the top left corner of the thumbnail and a new tag was created on the productivity panel. If we press this new tag, the asset panel is going to show only the assets with that tag assigned. We can also create additional tags by pressing the plus button. We can nest the tabs by dragging them on top of each other. If we right click the tags, we can change the color or the icons for better organization. It is also possible to add multiple tags to the same asset. This can help us to organize our assets by type, color, size, or anything you can imagine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.